Hello everyone, welcome to the Cardiac Wire Show from AHA Scientific Sessions 2024 and we're going to be talking about Echo AI uh, in this conversation with Dr. Nobu Kagiyama from Juntendo University in Tokyo. Uh, Dr. Kagiyama has a really interesting study coming out uh, that he's presenting at uh, AHA and we're here to talk to him about the presentation, so please tell us. Thank you, uh, thank you Jake for introducing me and this time we conducted a randomized trial called uh, AI Echo RCT. Uh, this is a randomized study we, uh, in which we assigned sonographers to the use of uh, AI tool, uh, which is called ASTU AI, and uh, uh, normal traditional workflow of echocardiograms. And uh, the reason or motivation that we started this study was that this, uh, there's so much uh, demand for examinations in many echo laboratories and this uh, increased or too much uh, demand has put a uh, huge stress on many echo laboratories. And the burnout and work uh, overwork of sonographers are, you know, uh, one of the biggest problems in many echo laboratories. So we hypothesized that uh, US2 AI uh, may, might reduce this workload and mitigate their stress. Got it. So tell me what the, the primary results that you found. So primary results this time focused on uh, uh, examination efficiency. And uh, we found that the examination time per one study reduced by the use of as to AI. And also uh, found that the number of, uh, per, number of examinations performed per day increased. That's amazing. So that's basically addressed your primary challenge in the echo lab, which right, is efficiency. Right. I'm curious if that improved efficiency and just the use of us to AI had any other impacts on kind of the more clinical aspects. Yeah, of these thank you for asking that. That is one of the uh, very interesting points uh, uh, in my study and uh, in our study. And I, <clears throat> what we found, uh, as, aside from the primary endpoint, is that <clears throat> Actually, the use of this as to AI, AI technology uh, improved the image quality on the uh, AI days. Uh, and also, despite this increased workload, I mean, they performed more echo and they performed faster echo. However, despite this, uh, their mental fatigue was actually mitigated, actually reduced. Huh. So by using AI, they performed echoes faster, they performed more echoes per day, they were less burned out, and their image quality was greater. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah, at least their mental fatigue was reduced, um, indicating that AI support reduces their cognitive load of measuring something. And also, I think the uh, reason why this software improved the image quality was that you know, although this software is not designed to help sonographers acquisition, uh, the reason why this improved the image quality was that uh, they were able to focus more on image acquisition rather than uh, measuring something. Right, that makes sense. It's, I mean, it's really astounding results. I'm curious, so a lot of times we see a lot of uh, AI research and then there's uh, the big question after that is like, okay, what's the, the impact in the real world? Yeah. Uh, when you envision how this might work in a, you know, in your echo lab or as it expands to other echo labs, what are the expected impacts that you that you think it will have? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I agree that there's yeah, so many uh, AI studies done in an experimental environment, but not have really achieved clinical impact. However. Our results suggest that uh, this kind of, uh, for example, US2 AI and other AI solutions may help, you know, uh, streamline the uh, workflow and actually reduce the uh, their, you know, stress. You know, so this time we showed that this software can 
reduce time for examination, uh, which will ultimately uh, be connected to the uh, change in, you know, or uh, change in their work, content of their work. I mean, this time we did more examinations uh, using the uh, using the time that is, uh, you know, added by the use of AI. However, in clinical, uh, in clinical practice, they may uh, be able to do something different, like, you know, oh, discussing about the patient uh, oh, yeah. treatment option or discussing the patient disease status with cardiologists or, you know, oh, such kind of more engaging human-centered work. Then, this, uh, this, you know, change in, uh, or I mean, this shift from the uh, mere simple tasks to more clinically enriching tasks may motivate them and uh, potentially boosting job satisfaction. That's really encouraging. And I mean, if you think about it, if, if bringing Echo AI can solve the major problem around productivity while giving better job satisfaction and leading to better patient facing care. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty special. So thank you so much. Uh, really impressive what you were able to do with the us 2 a algorithm. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.